Hey, how you doing guys? Hope you're doing well. Michael Hudson here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this channel. And today we're going to be doing a special, special video, which I will be going into detail about what's in my golf bag. And living here in the beautiful evergreen state of Washington state, we all know that golf season only lasts about one to two months out of the year. So when it's bright and sunny like this, we're all outside enjoying the vitamin D and the, the beautiful sun rays that the sun has to offer. With that being said, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please hit that subscribe button so you can be aware of all the new content that's posted on this channel. And specifically on this channel, what we like to do or what I like to do is to share with you guys anything and everything as related to fitness to help you guys be the greatest athlete that you can be so in this video today I will be sharing with you guys the clubs that I use all right guys so uh, first and foremost I wanted to show you guys the type of bag that I have and I have the Wilson uh, it looks like the EXO I got it from Amazon for about 160 bucks really good deal really nice bag as you can see here um, so I uh, got in a navy blue, you know, me being patriotic, I like to get something that's uh, kind of related to the country, the beautiful country that we live in. So I got those type of colors. As you can see, I got the red towel here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to share with you guys each and every club that I use and also hit some shots uh, for you guys just to show you how they hit and how far I can hit them. So before I get into that, I want to start doing something new on this channel, which is really give out a shout out to all the followers uh, that subscribe to this channel or who have left a comment. Uh, so on my previous video, which was a putter review video on the Huntington Beach putter, make sure to check that out. Link right here. Um, the channel that commented was Muscular Style. He really enjoyed the video, uh, but be sure to check out his page. I'll be sure to leave a link down in my description. He has a bunch of videos and resources that pertains to larger muscular men. So it could be anywhere from cologne uh, to boots to other types of clothing styles and things of that nature. So be sure to check out his channel and give your boy some support. All right, so the first club we're gonna be doing is the 60 degree wedge. Uh, have no idea what company this is, but this is kind of like a hand-me-down for my dad. My dad's basically a scratch golfer, eight degrees of bounce. Um, but I basically use this club for really close uh, chipping shots and also use this uh, for pitching as well, anywhere within 60 yards. So the other two wedges that I have also is the 52 degree wedge and the 56 and these are the Wilson harmonized wedges. I absolutely love these wedges. Be sure to check out my past review that I did on this channel. Uh, basically each of uh, the 52 degree has an eight degree of bounce and also the 56 degree has 12 degrees of bounce. And um, you know, these are very versatile. So I use them anywhere from the bunker, uh, green side bunkers. Uh, with the 52, um, I can basically get it up to 100 to 100 10 yards and then the 56 is going to be anywhere between probably within that that other gap so 80 yards and in so you can see i'm aiming for this bad boy Aim for that. yellow flag So next and foremost is going to be my irons. So I typically use the AP2 Titleist. Um, I know there's a lot of um, different types that are out there right now. This is kind of the older version, the 712. I think uh, it's up to like 718 right now. Um, so these are basically hand-me-down clubs as well. I got these on eBay. Um, as you probably already know, this is probably my second year uh, consistently playing uh, the game of golf. Uh, last year I was in the triple digits mainly. This year I'm more in the 90s, so game's improving more. Uh, they're bladed. Um, probably when I upgrade, I'm gonna get more forgiving uh, cavity-backed ones. In particular, this pitching wedge. I can hit up to 125 to 135 yards. So I have these from pitching wedge up to the five iron. Hey, make sure you comment below and let me know what type of golf clubs you use.
for, for some weird reason, I find it very difficult to hit the pitching wedge. Don't know why, um, but I'm still working on it. So this baby's the nine iron. So this one, I go about 125, 130. So still with the AP2s, eight iron, go about 140. As you can probably see, the eight iron is my favorite iron to hit. Uh, just feels good on my hands and feels like I can hit the center of this club every single time. So seven iron, seven iron next. I can hit this on average 150, 155. Last week when I played, the fairways were pretty dry. So I launched this one like 175 at one point because I got a lot of roll. <laughs> Next up, six iron. I can launch this bad boy probably about 170. And uh, like I said before, uh, with the AP2s, I have everything from uh, pitching wedge to five iron. So this is the five iron. I can launch this about 175 to 180. And this baby is one of my favorites. It's probably is my favorite club in the bag and it is going to be the four hybrid. So I'm a big fan of hybrids. I know some people uh, have a hard time hitting them, but I hit this one almost perfectly every single time. So it's going to be the Adams Golf Tight Lies. This is totally old school, but it hits phenomenally well. Just replaced the grip uh, a few months ago, um, but I can hit this up to 180 yards again. I hit the ball flush with this almost every single time. Extremely forgiving club. So I definitely highly recommend to get this if you're looking for a very forgiving hybrid club. So this is a pretty brand new club, but I hit, also hit it pretty well. It is the M TaylorMade F6 five wood. Um, I don't use a three wood right now, but I use a five wood. I can hit this about 210 yards. So I mainly hit this one off the tee because you know my driver is a little erratic right now. Um, but this one's a pretty trustable club. I can hit this off the tee and also off the deck as well. Uh, stiff shaft, even flow uh, staff uh, shaft. <laughs> and then you also have the grip from TaylorMade as well. Still the stock grip, still really good condition. I've uh, got this one. Um, off of uh, Golf Avenue. I'll be sure to leave a link down in my description. Uh, really good golf site. Uh, but anyways, this is a pretty new club. Uh, very trusty and very handy. And then also the driver, the big daddy, is going to be the TaylorMade M4. Um, didn't upgrade to the M6 yet. Uh, but this one, um, again, you know, my driver is very erratic right now, all over the board. I can, sometimes I can muster it about 290, but on average, I'm probably driving between 240, 250 right now. So uh, the goal is uh, by the end of this summer and going into the next golf season is to be able to consistently drive this bad boy about 280, 290, right down the middle, baby. And then last but not least, guys, I just did this review, uh, but I didn't lie. I kept this in the bag. This is going to be the Huntington Beach Cleveland Golf putter. Uh, beautiful, beautiful putter. Um, basically, I would say putting is probably one of the strongest points of my game. And again, hit that time card up here to see that full-fledged review on this putter. Absolutely love it because of the uh, handleness of it and it's so light and it's just I just feel so comfortable standing over the ball uh, when I hit those putts all right you guys that's gonna be the end of the video thank you so much for your support I really do appreciate it if you like this video please hit that like button and smash that subscribe button so you can be aware of all the new content that is posted on this channel also comment below let me know if you like these type of videos if you like more golf videos and more fitness videos what have you I really do appreciate your support and all of your comments um, as it pertains to golf I think it's really important to really get something that's affordable that and that will also make you look and feel good out there on the golf course so if you're new to the game of golf definitely Definitely uh, hit the links in the description. I really highly recommend these clubs. Uh, it's really gonna help your game and take it to the next level. Also hit me up on social media. I'm on Instagram almost every single day. All right, you guys, much love.